I am Joe Van Cleve and I am an office supply junkie. And look what I have here. Yes, a bag. That's right, a bag from Albuquerque's pen and pad. I hope you are staying well. I'm fine here. I'm still working uh, my normal job. And that is good. It keeps me occupied. But I know a lot of you guys might be sequestered at home. And if so, you might find some of your favorite stores are no longer open. Well, in Albuquerque, one of my favorite stores is Pen and Pad. Pens and stationery and whatnot. Last week, I called Kathy, who owns the shop, and I found out that she will fill online orders and she will deliver them within this part of Albuquerque. And so I made an order last week and it's in this bag and she dropped it off on my front porch. And I'm so grateful for her for doing that because I get to enjoy buying my favorite inks and pens and whatnot, supporting a local business while still staying safe. Well, I've been using a number of pins over the years, uh, and especially fountain pins. I do love them. And I have a box here of some of my favorite pins. And one of the pins I'm currently using in terms of fountain pins is a very humble blue Lamy Safari. And I'm currently using a converter in this, and it's almost empty. And my favorite ink that I've been using over the last almost 10 years, I've got to say, is Parker Quink in the blue-black color. That has been my favorite ink. But you know, there are so many inks out there nowadays in the world of fountain pens. Look at that though. That is getting down there toward the bottom. Now, I started this bottle in um, April 27th of 2016. That was four years ago I started this bottle. And it's getting down there toward empty. And I thought to myself, I might want to try another brand of ink and a few about a month ago maybe three weeks ago right before the lockdown myself and Ethan we went up to Santa Fe to uh, visit a pen show and I was uh, not really aware of some of the Japanese fountain pen inks but I did become aware of them after that show and I decided maybe I could order some bluish black fountain pen ink Japanese ink from pen and pad. So without any further ado, let's open this bag up and see what I got. All right, let's take a look. Yes, the first thing we have is Pilot's Iro Suzuki, and this is the Shinkai color of ink. And so I have not opened this box yet. I'm really excited about it to try it out. So let's open the box here. Like we have to uh, pull the little cardboard holder out of the way. Ah, uh, yes. There that is. So just a little bit of the detail. There's a nice little drawstring around the, the lid. And then I was noticing on the bottom here, a made in Japan, nice little label. And you might notice in the profile of this bottle, there is a little depression in the molding of the glass in the bottom for dipping your nib in so you can get the very last remnants of the ink out of the bottle that apparently is what that is for well i'm looking forward to trying this out and now let's see though we have something else in the bag though first ah yes so my friend kevin kittle turned me on to this pen this is a very humble pilot plummix this is a plastic fountain pen. It is a mild italic or what's called a stub nib. It's a steel nib. This is the medium Japanese point, which should be, should be closer to like a finer size italic nib in a German size, if there is an equivalent. So the back of the pen unscrews and there, it comes with a blue cartridge, a pilot cartridge. But I had already also had on me from somewhere else, I already had a whole box of blue pilot cartridges, which is pretty cool. So I have not used this pen and I'm thinking I'm going to start with this pen. We'll start inking it up 
and test it out and then we'll go to the Shinkai ink. Okay, so let's get this cartridge started. Like that. Push that in there. Screw that in, down there. And I don't know how easy these will be to start, but I have some Clairefontaine Triumph letter writing paper. And as all of you fountain pen aficionados should know, um, Clairefontaine uh, being French made, they're really well known for the um, quality of their writing surface for use with fountain pens. So I've dipped the nib into some of this Shinkai ink just to get it started. Hopefully we can get some of the capillary action going. Get the uh, actual cartridge flowing so we get the right color of ink here, the actual cartridge color. Looks like it's already flowing, if one I can tell. Okay, so this is a stub nib. Stub italic. Which is very nice writing, actually. Especially on this Clairefontaine paper. What I like about this stub italic is it's not such an exaggerated italic. Uh, sometimes on the exaggerated italic nibs, you really only feel like using it for calligraphy because the thin, thick difference is so exaggerated. But this particular nib is just very subtly thin and thick, very subtly italic, I would say. And I really think this is going to be a really nice, inexpensive pen for writing with, for jotting and writing. And I'm hoping because of the way the plastic lid screws on and the body screws together. I'm hoping it won't leak, of course, and I'm hoping it's just going to be a great nib for also a great pen for, for sketching and drawing. Uh, that's really one of the other attributes of this type of pen, I think, is for the uh, use in a sketchbook. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Now, of course, my handwriting is not the best, and I always have to write rather slow and methodical to make it legible, which is one of the reasons why I like typewriters so well. But this particular nib makes it really easy to have a nice looking hand just because of the line it makes. It has this styling right here that reminds me a lot of a glass pen, just the way it's kind of the fluted or spiral look to it. But that's really, they're trying to, uh, I think, bring out that appearance of a glass dip pen. Uh, but I think it's really intended for art uh, as, as well as writing. But having this medium metallic stub nib, I think, is a really interesting thing because you can do both drawing and regular writing, not fancy calligraphy, but regular writing. And in case you're curious why they call this a stub nib, it's because the corners of the italic tip of the nib are rounded off slightly as compared to a classic italic nib. And so it's more of a hybrid between an italic and a standard nib. Well, so my current pen that I've been using for a while is a Lamy Safari, as I indicated, and I have some of that Parker Blue Black Quink in it, and it's getting uh, rather low here. And um, I'm probably going to, instead of starting another pen going and inking up another pen, I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to empty this one out and fill it up with the Shinkai Ishirazuki uh, Blue Black ink, and we'll see what happens. Well, it's always a good idea to put a uh, paper napkin or something down on your table here. So I'm going to try this. Try to force whatever ink is in this converter back down into the bottle here. Try not to make too much of a mess. And we'll make a little bit here. Okay. I've liked the Parker Quink, though. It's been a great ink over the years. Okay, Shinkai. Pilot Shinkai here. So let's see if I can get this going here. Oh, yes. 
That is a full cartridge of ink right there. I'm going to wipe off the excess so I don't dirty up the pen too badly. And we'll go ahead and bottle it. Go ahead and cap it, I should say. Wipe off the rim so this doesn't get too crusty. And by the way, it's perfectly acceptable to leave ink marks on your fingers. That's part of the joy of being a fountain pen user. There is a thin slot in the body right there, and then there's these little two protrusions on the converter, and the protrusion has to go into the thin slot like that. There is a lot of ink left in the actual nib from the blue-black Parker Quink. So the paper towel is actually rather absorbent, and I'm going to let it kind of draw the new ink out into the nib and try to use up the rest of the Parker so we have a little bit clearer idea of what it's going to perform like with the new ink. So I think I've successfully purged all the old ink out of this nib, and I'm just going to continue with the, the Clairefontaine paper now. And we will just continue from where we were writing with the Pilot Namiki Blue ink. So this is the Shinkai Pilot Blue Black. And you can probably tell, I can certainly tell, that it's definitely not as blue as the uh, Pilot Namiki Blue. It does have a darker appearance, and that is just what I liked. So this book is my video journal, uh, and this is the Parker Quink, and you might be able to tell the difference here between the two. The Parker Quink here it looks darker, closer to black, whereas this Shinkai is uh, slightly lighter. It has more blue in it, but not nearly as blue as the, the actual straight blue ink here. It does not appear to be quite as dense of an ink as this, but you would expect that if it's not as black, of course, right? So, also, it's two different kinds of paper. This is... Uh, it's basically cheaper printer paper, and this right here, of course, being Clairefontaine, is a little bit nicer to write with. But uh, it looks like this pen is starting to flow really nicely, and I like the color. And I've always been very pleased with the quality of a Lamy Safari pen for being as inexpensive as they are and very utilitarian, a steel nib. They write so well. They're just a very reliable pen. This one is a fine point, and of course it's a German nib, so it's going to be a little bit wider than a Japanese fine, but it's really very equivalent to a lot of other nicer pens that have that cost a lot more, I think. I just really like these pens for a daily writing pen. Uh, it's not as fancy of a pen where you're going to worry about damaging it to taking it places. It's a very simple plastic bodied pen, but they're made really nicely. So you can see right here that with the same paper, same pen, the different ink. The Parker Quink here, the uh, Shinkai ink here, the Shinkai is just a little bit lighter, more bluish, and that's exactly what I wanted. And here is an example of writing into my little sketchbook that uses uh, basic inexpensive laser paper. And this up here is with uh, Pilot G2 gel cartridge, and this here is the Plumix with the stub nib using the blue uh, Namiki ink. And here is the Pilot Namiki uh, Shinkai in the Lamy Safari. You can see the difference in color between the two inks, between the blue and this blacker blue right here. Again, standard inexpensive laser paper. And the reverse side of the same page, there's no bleeding, no, no bleed through at all on any of those kinds of inks. So one of the other reasons why I'm looking forward to using up this little staple bound sketchbook is because waiting in the wings is my fancy 100-page stitch-bound journal book that I made with Ethan and using a higher quality paper, nicely trimmed. I was really proud of making this book myself and I'm looking forward to starting to use it with fountain pens.
Well, as an office supply junkie, I really find a local custom pen and stationery store to be a really valuable resource in my community. It means so much to me to be able to go in, look at things in person, try things out, and have the expertise of the shop owner helping me make a decision. It really is. I, I enjoy touching, handling, and writing with things uh, in person rather than just shopping online. And so in this challenging time uh, during the coronavirus epidemic, I really found it very pleasing to be able to support my local shop and order online and have her deliver it to my house. And that was really important to me, I thought. And I think it's going to be important going forward to support these local businesses as the economy hopefully recovers. But I'm enjoying the idea of having a new bottle of ink to try. And you know what? There's so many kinds of inks out there these days. You'd have to ink up an awful lot of fountain pens to try them all, which means you'd be doing an awful lot of cleaning of fountain pens if you don't don't do a lot of writing. But anyways, so I have this new Shinkai ink to ink up in my Lamy Safari or whatever pin I'm using. And of course, the Pilot Plumix with the blue Namiki ink. This is going to be a fun uh, pen to try. You guys, stay well, stay healthy, stay creative. I'm Joe Van Cleve, and these are Confessions of an Office Supply Junkie.